please stop? Okay. Oh my god! Hey guys, Tish from Python Spawn. So this week, I figured why not show you some of the babies from 2021. They're kind of grown up now. Not too much grown up, but they're grown up. Come on. Are we filming? Okay. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to give you guys, um, I wanted to go over some of the babies from 2021. The ones that I've decided to keep my holdbacks. So there's two clutches I wanted to go over. No, three. There's three clutches. Yeah, I only pulled out two, but there's three clutches. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna line them up like I usually do and I wanna get some weights on them. So let's do that. Okay, so <laughs> as much as I love these little monkeys, they are actually super, um, <laughs> they're a little spicy. So I'm gonna start from left to right. So left, I'm gonna start with this girl. So she, this is a girl. So this girl, I believe to be a pastel orange dream leopard, 100% head clown. So the pairing for this was the leopard female to the pastel OD clown. So, I mean, look at how gorgeous that thing is. That's not a question to me. I definitely know that that's pastel leopard orange dream. And these are all going to be 100% head clown. So majority of this clutch is definitely a hold back. I mean, she is gorgeous. I love her. That's a female. Then this little spicy noodle here. I believe to be a pastel leopard. She's a little shy, but that's that's what I think she is. She could be just leopard, but the pattern's too whacked out, so I think pastel leopard. Really pretty girl. She actually was one of the ones that she's the smaller of all of them because she was one of the ones that took a while to start eating on her own. She was assist fed for the majority for a while so she's she's definitely smaller in weight than the rest of them but she finally is taking on her own so that's good she's no longer assist feeding she's eating all by herself like a big girl i actually had a really good ratio on this clutch i think it was a five point no a, a 2.5 no no yeah 2.5 then this one is just a uh calm this one's an orange dream, as you can see, really pretty. She's 100% head clown as well, orange, just orange dream. Really good example of an orange dream though, she is so pretty. You can see the blushing, super orange. She's flames coming up the sides. They're all spicy because they're all really good eaters. So she is just orange dream. The next two are just 100% hets. So this is one of the 100% hets. She is also female. The het influence is really pretty on them. They don't look like normal normals, <laughs> if that makes sense. Really good eater, as you can see. Nice little belly pattern. Definitely some head influence. She's brighter than the rest. Same thing with this geese one. I believe this one's also a girl. Yeah, this one's also a girl. She's another 100% head. She's just a head, but look at that head influence. Really pretty. And this one's being spicy right now. Hold on. It's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there she is. Really pretty. Look at this spicy one right here. Look at this. <laughs> Relax. It's okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. 
Seriously? You too? Nice. Hey, hey, you're gonna give yourself a paper cut. Stop it. Oh my goodness, you too. <laughs> yeah? Everybody's spicy today? <laughs> Everybody's spicy today? It's okay. All right, let's keep going. So this one, I believe this is one of the males. He's Orange Dream. Maybe Leopard? I'm not 100% sure on this one. Maybe Orange Dream Leopard? Yeah, probably Orange Dream Leopard. I see the leopard pattern coming through. Really pretty. Really good size already. Probably about 200 grams. So that's cool. I'm going to hold him back. I, the two males that I have in this clutch, I am definitely going to hold them back, so. Okay. And then the last one we have here. Oh, it's okay. This one is just Orange Dream. Oh! Ow! 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 Everybody's striking! <laughs> so this one's just Orange Dream. And one of the two males that I have. Be careful, Vin. This one's out for blood. <laughs> Very cool, though. They're just they're just hungry. I came back from I just came back from Florida, so everybody's hungry. And you're gonna strike again. I know you are. Wow. Yeah, I see that. Can you guys stop? Oh, okay. oh my God! <laughs> Look at you, spicy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Let's move on to the next clutch before this one falls completely out. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. The next clutch we have four, and then the last clutch we have two. So we have the pastel G stripe female. <sighs> you two. Oh my goodness, you're fine. Okay, we had the pastel G stripe female to a fire calico yellow belly. Um, and the leopard head ultramel. So the leopard head ultramel was the sire, as you can see. So all of these babies are 100% head G stripe, 50% head ultramel. And I totally forgot to take the shed out of there. Well, what are you gonna do? So I believe I have. Let me double check. One. Two, three. 1.3. So I believe this is the one male. Yeah, this is male and the rest are female. Relax, relax. You're, you guys are so noodly. Stop being so spicy. All right, so the first one I believe to be. This one I believe is the only male pastel. Not, I mean, that head influence is crazy. I could be wrong. I, this, I think this one's past a leopard, to be totally honest, because that pattern is just insane. I don't know if it's just the head influence, but he is crazy. He's not as spicy as the rest of them. So, again, it's 100% head G stripe, 50% head ultra male. So that's cool. And I, th I think this one's that one just might be pastel, but I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. And this one, the one that's striking at me, this female is definitely pastel leopard, not even a question. Again, 100% head G-stripe, 50% head ultramel. If I were to say this one was going to prove to be ultramel, I would say it would. These two, these first two, I would definitely say are going to hit ultramel. Probably even the, the, the third one. The third one definitely does not look like a normal leopard. And you'll see why in a second. So here's the belly on these guys. They're completely white. No checkering. It's the weirdest thing. Isn't there maybe a little checkering on the side? But that's just a pastel leopard. And look at how pretty. Like there's nothing else going on in this snake. It's just the head influences. The G-stripe and the Ultramel. What I believe they, they're going to prove out to be Ultramel at least. Then this little noodle. So believe it or not, guys, this is definitely just a leopard. The reason it is so... Okay, okay, okay. The reason that it is so bright is because of the head influences. I mean, look at how bright that snake is. Leopards are traditionally pretty dark. 
and this one is just really really bright and look at the checkering on that belly come here come here come here look at that checkering really pretty look at nice belly but super super light for just the leopard it almost looks like leopard vanilla. I have a leopard vanilla here and it looks just like that. So pretty. So that's definitely the het influence. Messing with the pattern, messing with the color. Put that guy, that, that girl up there. Then we have, that's okay. What I believe to just be pastel, female. And I also think that she is, well, she is 100% head G-stripe. 50% had ultra mal, but I mean, look at the blushing. Look, ugh, man, that's just the head is just insane on this one too. But if I were to guess, I think the first three have ultra mal. I don't know, 100% on this one. Let me see. Let me see your belly. Let me see your belly. Not that much checkering on this one. I love the white bellies, to be completely honest. Checkering is cool too, but I really like the white bellies. Let me see your belly. Let me see it. It's okay. Okay. So we'll go on, move to the, uh, the last clutch real quick. You too. Relax. So I actually changed. I, I talked to a couple of people, Kylan and Dee from Bond Projects, and I think they're right. So I don't think I got any calico in any of this. So unfortunately... I have to change up what I believe these are. So the f mother was a fire and the male, uh, the father was a fire calico yellow belly. Oh yes, I know you're spicy. Um, I believe this guy, this girl, they're both girls. This girl, oh, come on. It's okay. So I believe this girl is the, uh, fire yellow belly. Oh, was it? No, this one's just fire. I believe. No, 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 no. Yeah, this was the fire. The fire yellow belly. You are really going to go into a ball right now. I don't know if you can see. Hold on, this one's being a jerk again. <laughs> but the, the flaming coming up, the really bright pattern is definitely the fire coming up. It looks, I mean, look at the difference between the two. That one's just fire. This one's definitely fire yellow belly. I thought that there might be calico coming through, but there was no calico. The calico completely missed on all of the babies, except for one, and that one passed away. Oh, come, really? Why are you still? You're fine. <sighs> and then the last but not least, what I believe to be just, just fire. All right just fire really pretty example of a fire though i'm not 100 percent sure on it though obviously none of these are super fires because super fires are all white but definitely think it's a fire really pretty unfortunately i really did think i was gonna i was gonna get a uh calico from this but nope no calico really pretty though the flaming let's get this bug it's good dish seriously seriously okay so yeah that's pretty much it i was gonna do a couple of weights on these guys but i think they're all about the same weight mm, that one's 153 164. Oh, you want to see? You tell me, Vinny, since you're going to see it. Oh, let's see. Don't bite me. 127. Oh, spicy. Come here. Come here, spicy. 136. These had a, a rough time starting as well, so they didn't eat on their own for a really long time. 
146. And this guy. Girl. No, guy. That's a boy. 165. Cool. They're all growing pretty well. No complaints. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I guess I always say real quick, but it's never really real quick. I mean, why would you be real quick with these guys? I love snakes. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the babies from last season. Uh, 2021 babies. These are all 2021 babies. And uh, I love them. I don't really show these often because these are kind of my grow out babies. So I know that eventually they're going to make me some really cool babies, but right, not right now. Right now they're just growing up and being happy and spicy. You're going to bite me, aren't you? Anyway, <laughs> as this one tries to strike at me, like two of them trying to strike at me, I appreciate you guys coming by. Um, I'm going to see you guys next Wednesday. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell, maybe even the join button. I'll see you guys next Wednesday.